All right, so this will be a follow-up video until uh, two weeks ago, whatever that was. And it's still dry here. It did rain a couple days this week. We're getting a little bit of green. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and mow again. We'll see if what the dealer told me was worth its weight in salt or not. Whew, it wasn't a lot of breath. been digging, putting a couple pieces of sod down. It sucks to be old, let me tell you. All right, contact. Yep. I did adjust this throttle a little bit. I was able to get the RPM down under 200 RPM and made not racing quite as bad as it was originally. to a stop here turned it off expecting to see a big pile of grass here it's really just come down this stretch there's no grass here I want to put it in gear back it up turn it back on and back it up and see if it comes out maybe I'll look underneath there first see if I can see anything so you can see when this goes together there's going to be a little gap there it's got to slide in underneath of that so there's a gap, three or four inches, between, between the edge of the bagger and the front of the deck. And it's just piling up inside that gap. All right. So it's cleaned up again. It's so dry still, even though we got a couple days of rain this week, it just makes one dusty, dirty mess. So, brand spanking new, I'm not gonna let it get all filthy just yet. I'll give it maybe three more weeks. So, putting things back away, taking this bagger off. I have to take the bagger off because my door's in here. Just uh, The doors are wide enough. But that little ramp in the front is too small. It needs to be over to the, to the side. Of course, it's not. It needs to be rebuilt. So, when I rebuild it, I won't have to keep taking this uh, bagger off. But anyhow, for now, that's why I'm taking it off. So, I took it off, swung it out. Look at all the crap that was jammed up in there yet. And what it does, when the thing is closed, it gets in this little area right here. When this is closed, this is down inside the deck. So there's an area behind it in here where the grass just sits. doesn't get ejected. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to uh, take this thing off at some point here in not too distant future. Take the deck off. Put the bag or put that bottom chute on and see what it needs to close that off and i'm either going to bolt a piece in or weld a piece in and see if that doesn't fix this problem which i think it will um, is anybody else seeing this on their 370s well any any kind of 42 inch with a bagger really doesn't have to be a 370. this is a 42 inch what is it called Axel Deep 42. So it could be a, any 3 Series that has a 42 inch, a 350, 354, 330, any of those that have this smaller deck. Now, does anybody know why this 370 only comes with this small deck? That's another question for, for some engineer. All right, take care. Real quickly, I will just say that. 
I took the mower to the uh, Deer Country dealer in Adamstown, PA. It's their implement dealer and uh, lawnmower factory. The technician there took one look at it and said, you didn't put your bracket on inside the deck. Of course, my reply was, what bracket? So uh, the more we looked, yeah, there's a big bracket that I did not put in there. Uh, when I got back to the house, I read the shoot manual, not the bagger manual, the shoot manual. And it was in there, clear as a bell, put the stupid bracket on. Installed a bracket and shazam, uh, all of my mowing and bagger problems disappeared. So this is a good instruction in reading the manual. That sh ins the instructions for putting this chute in place are in the actual chute installation paperwork not the bagger installation paperwork. I just missed it. It's there plain as bell, plain as a bell, clear as a bell. I missed it. So it's in now. We're gonna make a we're gonna make a mow job here this afternoon. It's still still some daylight left. I got another hour or two left, so I'll mow with it. I think that's gonna clear everything up. Where I showed that earlier was where it was at making a pocket. That little pocket was right here. So now this is going to go, the bagger's going to swing in here, and the bagger's going to go right up against that. All that grass going to go right up into the bagger. All right, see you later, bye. You can see here, everything is nice and clear. Grass is not flying around all over the place, messing up the yard. All right, you can stay tuned in a little while. I'm going to have another video coming out uh, on the 25-gallon sprayer that I also have for this unit. I'll do an unboxing, uh, maybe a little bit of calibration, show you how to figure figure out how much water to use for a particular amount of um, insecticide or herbicide, whatever you might be using. I'm going to record it over the weekend, but it might be a week or 10 days before I get it actually up here. All right, thanks for watching. Glad I got that cleared up.